On completion of any duplex project, you have options. You can sell one, you can keep one. You can sell both, or in fact, you can keep both. I'm gonna run you through an example of how we help him develop a duplex where his intention is to sell one side of the duplex half, use the proceeds he makes to then pay down the debt on the other duplex half, which in turn creates a massive positive cash flow for the property he's keeping, which frees up his capacity and allows him to keep growing his development pipeline. So here are the numbers. We paid $869,800 for this duplex. And as you can see, it's a six bed, four bath, two car design, which of course can be subdivided. Now the duplex sits on 700 square meters of land. So once the subdivision is carried through, each duplex half sits on 350 square meters of land. Now we need to work out the cost base of each duplex half. And very simply, you divide the total purchase price by two. So the cost base of each duplex half is $434,900. Now, put in a 20% deposit, which means he borrowed 80% of the purchase price. 80% of the purchase price is $695,840. Again, divide that by two to work out the loan amount for each duplex half. And that equates to $347,920. The construction of the duplex is now completed and has got duplex A on the market as we speak. Now, it's on the market for $689,000. And I wanna stress here, these are all gross numbers. I haven't taken into consideration possible tax, agents fees, interest costs under construction. Let me stress gross numbers purely for illustration purposes. Now, let's assume he gets his sale price of $689,000. We need to take away his cost base of $434,900. He is left with a whopping gross profit on this duplex half alone of $254,100. Now remember, we had a loan of 347,920, so we need to factor that in too. So we have the sale price of 689,000, take away his loan amount of 347,920, the gross money that he walks away with on this duplex half is $341,080. This is the side of the duplex that has decided to rent out, and it's currently on the market for $520 per week. So if we work out the yield on the cost base of $434,900, the gross rental return is 6.2%. Let me stress it's gross. However, what if we work out the return on the debt that he has of $347,920? That equates to a gross return of 7.8%. But Drew, hold on, we just sold duplex A with a gross proceeds of $341,080. Now I get it, there are gonna be costs, there are gonna be expenses, so it would be naive to assume that $341,080 is gonna go directly into the loan. But what if we only used half of that? Half of the gross proceeds is $170,540 paid into the loan. The new loan amount now on duplex B sits at $177,380 with a gross rental return of $520 per week. The yield on the new debt is now 15.2%. So to summarize, if all things go according to plan, can actually generate a gross profit from the sale of duplex A of $254,100. He can then use 50% of the net amount that he receives to pay down the loan in duplex B. And if he does that, he will generate a gross yield on the debt of 15.2%, a phenomenal rental return. This frees up his borrowing capacity to allow him to continue to build up a development pipeline. Guys, there's a lot of information in this strategy. As always, if you want any more of the particulars or if you think something like this strategy would work well for you, click on the link below. I'd love to tell you all about it. Have a great day.